Rajiv was thinking, how am I going to stand up and deliver a speech? As what Ramsudhi Sabha said, it's a speech. Rajiv thinks they are just mere words that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam accept them in their court that we are not worthy to speak about such such beings especially the Zat of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala himself said he is my Mahboob, he is my beloved you know how can we do his charcha when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Holy Quran we have exalted your name Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says we have exalted your name then who are we to speak when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says we have exalted your name but Najee's, inshallah, with the du'a of our Murshid Ikrim, my Murshid Ikrim, I will say a few words regarding the fazail and the benefits of Dawood and Salaam. For the past couple of weeks, the Sanghis, especially what from Sufi Abu Bakr Sahib, has constantly reiterated the benefits of sending Dawood and Salaam, sending Salawat in the court of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Najee's was just doing a bit of research throughout the week, because the Rasab said to the Sahib, say a few things in the court of the, uh, regarding the Fazail of the Rishi and Najiz was uh, doing a bit of research and those though the Fazail and the benefits of the Rudan Salam you know the they are Najiz was just thinking the amount of research there is the amount of Vakyat, the amount of blessings the amount amounts of Hadith there are regarding sending the Rudan Salam in the court of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they are just unbelievable that Najiz would only like to share a few with you with, within these next 10 or 15 minutes. When Najiz wants to sh share one particular share with you before I go any further, Najiz read this share regarding the Hakikat of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I thought, you know, it touched Najiz's heart that I thought I would like to share this particular share with the, with the, with the brothers. It goes, Banai kya khuda ne soni surat Muhammad ki sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Huwe aashik wo jis ne dekh li surat Muhammad ki Kamale husne Yusuf par fakat aashik zulaykha thi Khuda khud jis pe Khuda Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khud jis pe aashik hai Wo surat hai Muhammad ki sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Musalmano ko jab jannat ke darwaze pe rokeng ge Hukam Hoga ki jane do ye ummat hai Muhammad ki And Ajiz just within that last share I thought to myself That is true But There will also be a hukam That when the Valam Is stopped Near the door of paradise The jawab, the answer will come, the voice will come Hukam Hoga ki jane do ye Aashik hai Khaja Aslam ka Jane do ye hai Aashik Khaja Arshad ka Inshallah Allah Aziz That is the Yaqeen of Najiz and the rest of the Sangeez here That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that day Through the nisbat of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And our Paak Mushayikh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do karam upon us on that particular day It is said that the divine blessings on Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Is the highest and most Blessed acts that a Muslim or Mormon can do in his deen because that is this is, the Durood is such an ibadat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that it is said that all your other ibadats, your namaz, your hajj, your roza, your zakat can be thrown back in your face. But Durood and Salam is such an ibadat that it is always accepted in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, the Muslims of the uh, of this day and age and the past age, through the blessings of Durood and Salam, have attained great statuses in the court of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you look, the Malaika of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, it says 70,000 angels come in the court of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the morning and 70,000 come in the evening. And those who come once do not, get, do not will not get the opportunity to come again in the court of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But what is the rank of those people who the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam calls once, twice, three times a year? What is the hakikat? What is the rank of those men of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam calls them to his court constantly throughout the year? 
and out of those many a people, our Murshid Kareem goes to the court of the Messenger وسلم, on several occasions because they manzuri, their acceptance is in the court of the Messenger وسلم. Now she's read this particular waqiyat regarding Hazrat Muayyadeen ibn Arbi radiallahu an the great Sheikh radiallahu an says that those who claim that they love the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam those who say 